For 2008, the Office of Surface Mining, Reclamation, and Enforcement honors the high level of reclamation achieved at America's coal mines, where our energy needs are met and land is returned to enduring use. Before a nomination is considered for an award, it has been reviewed by state and OSM officials. All of the entries show dedication to community and a commitment to excellence based on sound science and best practices. All are exemplary. These are the winners. The National Awards for Excellence in Surface Mining. Rio Tinto Energy America, Jacobs Ranch Mine, Wyoming, for enduring conservation of wildlife. Partnering with the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, Rio Tinto created the 1,000-acre Rochelle Hills Conservation Easement, where reclaimed mine land supports a herd of 400 elk. Above and beyond regulatory requirements, this company is established and maintains a high level of forage for area ranches, deer, and antelope, while recreating ephemeral streams and building natural reservoirs supporting cattle and wildlife. The rigorous environmental standards Rio Tinto requires covers air and water quality, water quantity, mineral and non-mineral waste management, hazardous material and contamination control, land use stewardship, and environmental management systems. Peabody Energy, Black Beauty Coal Company, Miller Creek Mine, Sugar Ridge Pit, Indiana, for prime farmland restoration enhanced with forest, wildlife, and water, and being a good neighbor. Careful soil analysis and handling, close cooperation with Midwestern universities, and soil fertility management planning have made this mined land into prime farmland. When soils are returned to mined land, they are layered and lightly compacted, enabling high yields. The reclamation included water impoundments as large as 26 acres on the permit area that are stocked with fish and that enhance farming land use, supporting corn, soybeans, wheat, and alfalfa. Peabody involved the neighboring community early on in the planning for agricultural use of the land after reclamation. Massey Energy, Road Fork Development, Superior Surface Mines, West Virginia for mining previously mined sites for reclamation and safety. As an integral part of the mine plan at an area with 50 acres of pre-SMACRA mined land, Superior Surface Mines took an approach that would strengthen a pre-law slurry pond, one of the largest and oldest in the world. Their innovative and practical approach demonstrates that good engineering and a commitment to the environment can go together with efficient mining. Where once refuse material had caught fire and seepage occurred at the pond tow, Superior's efforts have buttressed the pond walls with alkaline material, ensuring safety and environmental protection for the heavy populated Main Island Creek watershed. ICG Eastern LLC, Birch River Complex, West Virginia, for extensive reforestation and reclamation of a previously mined site. Pre-SMACRA mining at this site had left miles of dangerous high walls and poorly placed acid-producing spoil, leaving tributaries of the upper Birch River incapable of supporting aquatic life. ICG has pioneered the development on bench refuse disposal, avoiding hollow fill impoundments and using material handling methods to prevent acid mine discharges. Careful use of innovative practices, analyzed and evaluated in partnership with West Virginia University, were used resulting in exemplary post-mining water quality, soil suitable to support 750,000 trees, and vegetation and forage for a wide variety of wildlife. Whether they are in ranching communities of the West, in mid-continent farmland, or the steep terrain of Appalachia, Modern coal mining is not only an important contributor to the economy, but can also be an enduring partner in the life of the community. The Bronze Award for Good Neighbor goes to Arch Coal, Thunder Basin Coal Company, LLC, Black Thunder Mine, Wyoming, 
for partnering for raptors and reclamation. Located within the boundaries of the U.S. Forest Service Thunder Basin National Grassland, Black Thunder Mine has long-lasting partnerships with its neighbors and community projects. They came to the rescue of a nearby town when a tornado struck, offered guided mine tours on their reclamation process, a yearly picnic meeting with their neighbors, and cooperates with national and international wildlife groups to study and improve habitat. Black Thunder also works extensively to involve area students in wildlife studies. These efforts are making a major contribution to our knowledge of several migratory bird species, including the ferruginous hawk. The Silver Award goes to Rio Tinto Energy America, Antelope Mine, Cordero Rojo Mine, Jacobs Ranch Mine, Wyoming for sustainable environmental partnerships and community services. Rio Tinto's strong commitment to environmental excellence and reclamation extends to developing self-sustaining organizations and projects appropriate to area economies. Assessing community needs during mining and looking to the future after mining and reclamation are complete, Rio Tinto contributes time, expertise, and funding to advisory boards and planning teams. The company is actively involved in ecosystem and wildlife education as well as preservation, merging their efforts with local schools. They're most admirably involved with organizations to guide young people to productive lives. And finally, the Gold Award goes to Arch Cole, Cole Mac Inc., West Virginia, for extensive employee involvement in community service. Earth Day celebrations, partnerships with area schools, partnering with the Army Corps of Engineers and West Virginia DEQ to save more than one million in constructing a community baseball field. It's a long list. This award honors the company's involvement in the community with special emphasis on its educational efforts. Mining and reclamation are demonstrated and explained as educational excellence and effort are encouraged. From kindergarten through high school and into college, the personal involvement of managers, executives, and employees is both extensive and exemplary. The final award is called the Director's Award. Each year, OSM's director chooses a category of reclamation to honor a mining operation for specific accomplishments. This year, the category is reforestation. And the award goes to Energy Future Holdings Corporation, Luminant Mining Company, LLC, Big Brown Mine, Martin Lake Mine, Monticello Mine, Oak Hill Mine, Thermo Mine in East Texas for its extensive commitment to reforestation. Since 1975, more than 26 million trees, including 32 species, have been planted on 30,000 acres at Luminant reclaimed sites. Nearly one half of reforested areas at Luminant Mines are dedicated to high quality wildlife habitat and the remainder to commercial forests. Large areas have been dedicated to wetlands and forested areas are both stable and supporting natural regeneration. These impressive results require long term dedication, careful planning, years of research, field trials, and testing improved techniques.